Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for April 3rd, 4th, and 5th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Geminis. Hello, my Geminis. How are you? Well, I guess we're living in, we continue to live in our interesting times. Now, this is the weekend reading, so I am using my two Radley Valentine decks, my Angel Tarot cards for my main message, and then I pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I am an intuitive channeler. What that means is that I open myself up to my higher power, and whatever the message, for whoever needs to hear it, it just comes through. Okay, yes. Um, interesting times. We continue. This is going to, I mean, we're going to continue with this. This is not something that, you know, it's not like a, uh, you know, the light, the light switch where you can just turn it on and off. Though I do think, I do feel, and, you know, I haven't said this to anyone else's sign, but I do feel that, that once it stops, it'll be a quick stop. Oh, I bet that just came through. So, I, I, you know, it'll be, but we still have to get there, okay? And yes, interesting times, we do have to get to the point where, you know, it's darker before the sun. So we're still in that, we're still in that dark phase. Now, let's go right ahead and, okay, nope. And we're gonna cut the deck. One, two, and three cards, three cards face down. The first one is reversed. So that means it's got some stronger energy for you, my Gemini's. First card up, the eight of earth, earth energy, Taurus, um, I'm sorry, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. It's solid energy. Um, it's something or someone you can touch. A lot of times this has to do with money, money with a job, opportunity, income coming in. But during this, but during this time, you know, it's not like, I, you know, maybe you are looking for another job and this is an, this is, a, this is okay. It, you know, there are jobs out there. So get your, you know, put your resumes out. Um, I do feel that this is also about my Gemini's being, ext you know, you pulling in all of your organizational skills. Many times, you know, I, you know, you can be all over the place, but then when you want to pull it in, you pull it in. And I feel like this is you, almost like, um, you know, like if you were working at a, like, like a nonprofit or something like that, and you were putting together, even though you're not, you know, because you can't, you know, well, maybe you could, but it's like you're putting together a fundraiser. It's like you're putting a, together a, a way to raise money for a cause that's very dear, near and dear to your heart. Now, let's take that and put this to what's going on now. It's like, you know, I feel like there's this research. I feel like there's this, how can I help with this? How can I use my skills with this? And I feel that this weekend for my Geminis, you're going to be looking into ways of doing that. Okay? Okay. So, Skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. I'm also getting like with the eight, you know, the eight is infinity. So there's somebody out there that need, that, you know, can, that resonates with infinity. So, okay. Next card, the Knight of Earth. The Knight of Earth is, again, it's very focused energy. You know, it's that Earth energy, but the Knight is very focused, his directional and this is, again, it's like you have something in your mind, you have some thought, whether this be, like, I, again, I keep getting fundraising, I keep getting, um, you know, like, okay, you know, maybe, and, and it could be that you are, you know, um, putting together ways to buy supplies for, play, for some, but again, I feel like this is fundraising, and you organizing, and you just saying, this has to be done, I see a need, this has to be done, okay. Loyal, dedicated, honorable, kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. Remember, connect with your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is. Okay, connect. Next card. 
the night of fire. Again, so whatever this is that you are getting organized, whatever this is that you, you know, you see a need that needs to, to needs to be filled. I feel like it's very philanthropical. I feel like it's nonprofit. I feel like it, it's nothing to do with putting money in your pocket. I feel like you have an, an extreme passion for this also. Okay? Fire energy is our Aries, our Leo, and our Sagittarius energy. Passionate, burning, very determined energy. So, passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through you carefully. I don't know if you hear that, but my dog, somebody must be at the door. Anyway, they're, they're just barking up a storm. Anyway, let's go on. One last, okay, we got a couple of, oh my gosh, we got a whole bunch. So now, let's go here. Interesting, interesting energy. So we have four cards, all face up. The third one is reversed. So strong energy here, and okay, so... We have our seven of Michael. Michael is air energy. Okay, it is our set. It is our Aquarius, our Gemini. It's your energy. It's also our Libra energy. And this is about you know. Okay, there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So again, this is like you know you pulling in other people and again you're not necessarily having to work with them but it's like whatever this idea is whatever this program is whatever this thing is it's bigger it's it's bigger than even you okay so your next one okay so here we are the king of gabriel gabriel is fire energy and we talked about that aries leo sagittarius Generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Like I said, this whatever this is that you're coming up with, whatever this thought process is, whatever this is that you're organizing, it's bigger. Keep the leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. Like I said, there's a very philanthropic type of energy for you, my Gemini's. Here we go. Now this one's interesting too because this one's reversed. And here we have the moon, the moon, archangel energy here. And remember too, even though there's all the different phases now on the eighth is the full moon, but we're from the new moon to the full moon. So this is the time to request. Okay, so requesting. But the thing about the moon is there's always a side that's hidden, things going on in the background that we're not aware of. So the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, Face your fears and grow stronger. So if you've been thinking, oh, I can't do this, you can. You can You can do this, my Geminis. And your last card, again, is an Archangel energy. And this was Archangel Heniel. This is Archangel Zedkiel. And this is success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience, forgiving and healing energy. But the thing is, it's solutions, okay? And that's whatever this is that you're thinking of, um, or whatever this is you're taking a part of, it's a solution to, again, it's a, to a solution to the bigger picture. So real, this is really some major energy coming from you or for you, my Geminis. So thank you. Thank you for whoever's doing this, whatever this is, because it actually, I do feel it's, it's like, it's something that, um, meets, meets and fills a need. So Always interesting. So my Geminis, if you enjoy my readings, remember down there, like, share, subscribe. But as always, my Geminis, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.